Hello and a very warm welcome. Well, a face and a name that needs absolutely no introduction. An actress who gathered historic fame forever for a legendary role as goddess Sita in Ramanan Sagar's epic serial Ramayan. Ma'am, heartfelt welcome on the show. Thank you very You're much. welcome on Face Thank to Face you. with Rashi. And I'm feeling I'm really overwhelmed today. And Thank you. Memories, really go, nice. <laughs> memories go back to 1986 and 88 when we used to sit glued to television sets to watch you, you know, as Goddess Sita. Thank you. Ma'am, how does it feel? You're in Allahabad one more time. I think it's lovely. Allahabad is a lovely, lovely city. I think I still like to call it Prayagraj. I think it's got a lot of history. It's got a lot of temples. And uh, at this point of time, there's a lot of road digging also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Because come uh, 2019, yes. you all are looking forward to it. I think it's a lovely city, one of those prachin cities of the of the country. So a lot of history attached to it, and I right. love history. Ma'am, we have, uh, you know, been through a lot of your interviews. Okay. But today I would like to know about your school days. Something. About, can we have just silence, please? Silence. Yeah. Ma'am, it's going live. All right, okay. And it's going live, all right. Yeah. So, uh, ma'am, uh, like, uh, I would like to know something about your school life, something about your college life, your hometown. <coughs> so, I, I was born in Bombay, and uh, I was very, very young, and we moved to a place called Baroda in Gujarat. So, I was there for a couple of years, moved back, and uh, I studied in a school called Jamnabai, which is a very, very premium school in Juhu. And uh, then moved to Calcutta for four years, schooled there, one more year in Chennai, Madras, mm -hmm. and came back and finished my education. And I was in the ninth standard when I was offered a movie, Sun Meri Lala. Uh, so 1983? 81. 81. 81. Okay. 82 81. was uh, released and then I went ahead and of course did my 10th privately because the school principal was Mrs. Khariwala. It was a Parsi school. So she wouldn't allow any of these kind of things okay. happening. So okay. she was very, very upset. And I was very clear I want to be part of a, the movie world. And my dad was at a loss because my dad's very, very highly um, qualified. He had done his BCom, LLB, FCA, Chartered Accountant. Very, very bright. So, I mean, he couldn't fathom the idea that his daughter wants to do something and be a school dropout. So, obviously, I completed my education. I did my uh, BA with uh, with English honors. And that is the time when I was doing Raman. Okay. So, I had to take a break. I did my 10th standard and took a drop year. I mean, two, two years of drop, actually. And then during the shooting of Raman, my dad said, you need to get back to education. It doesn't work like this. So that's how I did my, my yeah, schooling. Yeah, Ramayan, and that's that's how your schooling was. And that's yeah. interesting that at that point of time you were doing your graduation. Yeah, I your was. Yes, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Ma'am, Ramayan, you know, it's it's a landmark show in Indian television. True. So some special memories. You're still in touch with your uh, co-host, Arun Govulji. I am, but it's not really too much. We, uh, I think, just sent those Diwali messages or holy messages. Nothing much happening. I didn't meet him last year. Uh, I met him in Allahabad oh, last year, yeah. last to last year. We okay. had some uh, program happening and uh, both of us were invited. We were invitees there and uh, yeah, it was nice to meet him. In fact, I meet, I, I speak to Arvind Ji mm -hmm. and Sunil Lahiri a lot more. Mm -hmm. I, at least once in two, three months we end up talking. Mm -hmm. Sunil Lahiri is the one who played Lakshman, Lakshman. and uh, of course Arvind Ji is the player who Ravan. So, so, so hmm. how, it, how it feels you still when you just... Uh, imagine or, or you just go back reel back to the memories you know that you coming on the screen and people touching your feet and it's still in Chitra code people you know having your picture. pictures you know oh well really the character you played did it affect your life also some point see this is a question uh, which I've always answered as I really it's a very hypothetical question because I really don't know what I would have been if it wasn't Ramayan I don't know how I would have grown up because I was 18 or 19 and it started very, very early. By 24, I was over and done with it for career and I got married. So you see, it was all too early. So my growing up phase was with Romar. So I don't know, as a person, did it affect me or it did not affect me? I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, them touching feet is, is something that I understood as a part of stardom. If you are a regular heroine, people would whistle at you. But if you've done something devotional, people come and touch your feet. Oh, this so is that's, how you're saying that. Yeah, so that's how I took it at that point of at time. That point and I still just went along with it because it's their sentiments. Absolutely. It's, it's how they see it. And of course, it's a, it's a token of appreciation for an actor that I performed well. 
and then I looked in the role, and that's why Amazing. you're here. And I'm, you're a fabulous orator. You speak so well, ma'am. Thank and you. And let me tell you, people, I don't have to, you know, stamp it or something, but ma'am is really mesmerizing. <laughs> you know, all the time she's talking, I just lost her, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, you are Deepika Chikalyaji, right? Yes. And uh, Topiwala. That Topiwala. was another surname that you carry. Yes. And again, you decided something for your name and for your surname. Yeah. We were just talking a bit. Yeah. yeah. So of this that. is how it goes. I was born with Chikalya, which is my maiden surname. So Deepika Chikalya was what I kind of established myself with. Got married and I became Topiwala. And I was very comfortable taking, I had no feminist. Uh, thoughts and visions and ideas about becoming a topi wala and kind of sur surrendering to Chikalya. And I took a sabbatical because I wanted to. And then when I decided to come back, I realized that my identity is always the Pekka Chikalya. So when people look at me, they say, the Pekka Chikalya, that's how they always go. So I realized that's, that's my identity. That's my full name, if you ask me. So I said, I'm going back as the Pekka Chikalya topi wala. Wonderful. That is really wonderful. And ma'am, you did a lot of films as well, like uh, Sun Meri Leila, you talked about Rupet Das yeah. Karol, Ghar Ka Chirag and Kudai. And you know, you did uh, Malayalam, Malayalam films, yes. Kannad films, Gujarati films, Bengali films. <laughs> yes, you know, such busy. huge experience, such huge experience. But then this question also comes, you know, like a long sabbatical of two decades and three, 23 years. So today when you look back at it, it was decisive on your part. It was a voluntary very, decision. Very. You're happy with that or you've got some regrets that no, 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 no. No, 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 no. People have told me this. In fact, Anu Malikji's wife is a very good friend of mine. She said that you have break a lot. I mean, yeah, do people do say that. But I think I have come at the right time, at the right moment. And it was a very, very uh, thought about decision because uh, in 93, my daughter was born. Mm -hmm. And I decided that if I have a child, it's my responsibility to look after her. And there are no two ways that my children are going to be brought up by servants at home. So it was a very, Fantastic. very thought uh, after decision. And I'm very proud of it. And I've got two girls. And both my girls are so good, so, so, so well brought up, brought up that I cannot tell you. So that's fantastic. And, uh, I think they are one of the reasons that I'm back into work is they are they are like, mom, you you a bundle of talent. I mean, you need to go out there back again and conquer. And I'm like, okay. So this is the time when you're getting inspired by your yes, daughters. Yes, absolutely. So if, absolutely. Your children, if your daughters, if your children wants to make their career in movies or... They never, they never showed any interest. And I'm very happy and lucky that they didn't because I really think that it is a career. If it clicks, it clicks. If, if it, it doesn't, doesn't, there's a lot of depression. There's a hard attached. way. There's yeah, a hard it's a lot way. of depre depression for an actor to go through it. And I wouldn't want my daughters to see anything otherwise. So I was just very lucky. I'm telling you, I was, my Brahman and Sagar always told me, you're a chosen child of God. And I've kind of come to believe that because it came to me easily. I mean, okay, I worked very hard. I've been very sensible about every decision that I've, you know, uh, taken in life. But yeah, it, it is hard work. Wonderful, wonderful, ma'am. So you came with Ghalib. I mean, people would be watching you after a long time in yes, Ghalib. Yes. So would you like to tell us something about your role in that? Was it challenging? Oh, because very nice. It was very interesting. Ghalib came to me. In fact, I'm alongside to Hindi cinema, I'm pursuing a career in Gujarati uh, movies also. My movie release and it's, uh, it's done extremely well. Ghalib is a role where I play a wife of a terrorist. Now see the contrast that I am doing at this point in Absolutely. time, you know, a devotional character and then I played a, a housewife in a Gujarati movie I just did and uh, then I go ahead and play a Muslim character, a Muslim character. wearing a proper burqa, yeah. doing namaz and all that. Yeah. So it's fun, it's interesting and as an actor, this is what I want to do. Absolutely. So I am just very happy. That's why I said I think I'm at the right place at the right time. Absolutely. And the right time is always now, I believe. Yes. When you begin, that's your right yes, time. Yes. Now what about your role in Deen Dayal Ek Purush? We are on the sets of Deen Dayal Ek Purush. Okay, so Deen Dayal is, is a semi-period film. And uh, my character does not fall into the Deen Dayal era. Okay. I am playing the editor of a press and uh, there is the reporter who's trying to investigate the murder of Deen Dayal. The murder mystery. The murder yeah. mystery which was originally everybody knows about is uh, unresolved and unsolved. 
So the story is all about that and the reason I took up this is a small role, a more of a special appearance kind of a role, but I took it up because it's got a negative touch to it. Okay. So it's like again a challenge. You don't have kind of a thing. Huh. Kiya. So it was it's a challenge and I think that's what gets me going. It's fantastic <laughs> talking to you, ma'am. You're a Thank wonderful you. speaker, I must say. Thank you. You know, one can get lost in the fluency of all the thoughts they are coming one by one, <laughs> one by one, one by one. Thank I will you. just play before I say uh, bye, though I would not like it to end, but still, uh, I would love to play a rapid fire with you. Okay. A rapid fire, right? Okay. And uh, let's begin. Okay. Tokyo chocolate, that still tempts you. Sorry, chocolate or? Toffee, that still tempts Chocolates. you. Chocolates. Any, any special chocolate that you love? Uh, dark chocolates. Dark chocolates. Natural beauty or makeup? Oh, any day natural beauty. Natural beauty. Flats or stilettos? Stilettos. Stilettos. <laughs> Indian outfit or Western outfit? I like Indian, but I only wear this. Okay. A word for Rashi. I think she speaks very well, very charming, and absolutely sunshine. So I think that's oh the word I would use God, for sunshine. You've spoken so much, Daz. You just one word. Okay, sunshine. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Such precious time, ma'am, you gave to us. You're on the sets. Your shoot is ready and all. I'm really overwhelmed. I'm really grateful. It would be an honor for me if I just give a hug. Lovely meeting. Lovely you. meeting you, ma'am. Thank you so. Pleasure. Much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much, guys.